Okay, Roger, here's your core that you sent in. First we're gonna put the put the pump to it. And see if we can get her pumped up. Oh, gas is leaking all over the place, so this is this is not gonna have the same problem as the other one had. That's gonna be a different situation. After the initial startup of flooding, I just shut the pump off so the carburetor cleaned itself out. And um, I got the pump right back to all running again. I'm going to put it up to 9 pounds and see if it'll blow the needles out of it. No. No. That was good. Let me go put the dyno on. It is on. Okay, the dynamometer is already on. I'm going to see what we got here. Okay. Let's see what happened. We shut all the excess air off. So we have to shut these mixtures things down. Okay, that carburetor is... Uh, That one there, you got to have that air bleed because it's getting getting rich, too rich inside. So I don't want to stick my head down in there right now with the camera going. But anyway, with the set like you had it. You couldn't ask for a better running carburetor than that. So... Out of here. Yeah, the video. Don't trip over the camera. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna run it out of fuel, Roger. Then I'm gonna go for a restart. Carburetor runs real, real. The mixtures are just, just perfect. But it's got some problems inside because this here is open two turns. You should not have that. Should be closed off. It's getting a little bit. Something's in there. Getting, getting some excess fuel. But as long as you were able to compensate with that air, you're good. Okay, we're running it out of fuel. Alright, you can see it. Now we're going to turn it back on. There goes the pump. Okay, okay, I'll tell you exactly what you got in this one. This one here, you got a bad coat adjustment. What happens when you run it totally out of fuel? The pin, the pin in there is coming out of the socket. I'll try to draw a picture of that. You, that, that. When it runs out of fuel, this is your needle going up and down. What happens, it comes out and it gets, it gets out of the socket. And it won't shut it off. But if I start it up and I change the fuel level... Then it'll go ahead and quit. See it? See it? Terrible flooding condition. Terrible flooding. Okay, now that the fuel level has changed. Okay. Do you understand what I mean? So 
that's what you got in that one there. You see it smooth right out. Good flooding. That that needle that that uh, needles wore out and it's dropping out of that hole, hitting on the side, not sealing it up. But that thing is sure runs sweet. It's gonna make a nice carburetor for somebody when we rebuild it. Yep, that's what's wrong with that one. But it but it it doesn't have any of the other symptoms that you had. Remember the other symptoms you had was it'd stop and stutter and you'd pump it, it'd run two, three seconds and quit. Well, it doesn't have any of those symptoms. Long video.